Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bill with the Hollywood Bomber. Just want to give you an update uh, for you 18 owners out there trying to keep your aircraft in the best shape going. A little kind of throwback to history. Um, on your annual inspection checklist and on your uh, airworthiness directive listing and all that, there's nothing that really spells out looking at the drag link for your landing gear. Uh, if you're 135, you uh, have that probably on your inspection schedule, but if you're 91, just a private owner, running a 18 uh, DEGH, uh, there's really nothing that picks up a service instruction, and I can't even find out the date of this thing. What we're looking at is 1183 landing gear inspection of main landing gear legs, drag legs, drag leg bolts, and retract slide mechanisms. So what we're talking about is the drag leg that goes from the landing gear up to the slide trolley up on your slide tube. So this is uh, what we have here. It's a welded deal. Uh, this used to have uh, white paint on it about a day ago. We've got it completely stripped, brought it to an NDI shop. And what 1183 wants you to do is they want you to mag particle inspection this on the outside, check for any physical cracks, uh, structural cracks and all that. And then they want you to x-ray, do a four shot x-ray to check for internal corrosion. Now. Uh, this aircraft here, we thought it was pretty darn, it's a young aircraft, relatively speaking. It's about 8,000 hours. It's a Super E. So um, we figured, you know, this thing's in pretty good shape. It's lived a pretty charmed life. Uh, it spent a lot of hangar time. It did sit out on the ramp a lot. Um, had a little bit of external corrosion on this when we took it apart um, or took the paint off of it. Not too bad, still the original paint. So anyway, we thought these would be pretty good. Brought them to the shop for mag particle and one of them failed out on a crack so so why did it fail on a crack big question so we think that maybe we got into a side load situation either statically or dynamically either on the ground wind who knows what and or a rough field bad crappy landing so that's always going to happen on our aircraft that's always the thing so long story short um we pull these off as a preemptive we're going through this uh, very rigorous inspection to bring this aircraft back to flight but for you folks that are running aircraft yet it hasn't been done if you don't have anything in the log books uh, for 1183 i would highly recommend you do this it's really not that hard to do at an annual if you got the plane up on jacks you're doing the swings drop them out take a look at them strip them mag particle and then if they're good get them sent off to an x-ray shop uh, if the aircraft is uh, okay you can't hear anything rattling around it's a sealed unit uh, there is just one little on all hole here, a little rivet, but it should be sealed and it shouldn't be rusty. So it, you should, I'm thinking you should have pretty good luck with it uh, passing if it passes without any structural cracks. Uh, one of ours did not. Uh, and again, I'll show you the pictures. On ours, the crack was such that you could actually physically uh, or, or visually see with a naked eye. You didn't need a 10 power glass or anything like that but you could actually see it. And then uh, we've got also, we've got the um, uh, picture when we had it under fluoresce at the mag particle bench. So it's, um, this one's pretty cracked pretty obviously. Uh, tragically, the SI-1183 does allow you to do weld repairs, but not in this area. They don't show anything as far as the weldment around the forge fitting on either end. They show the center tube if you have cracks, but we have nothing, um, so, and even the, the, the repair is just a big sleeve of the existing tube. It's kind of a big gross repair, but it's doable. So something that's real important to do. The other part of it, or other two parts, is checking your attaching hardware. If you're bringing an aircraft back that's been sitting for a long time, uh, that stuff might be rusted in place. So pull all your attaching hardware, upper and lower on this out. Make sure there's no rust on the hardware. If uh, any questions on that, just replace the bolts, and it's just two bolts, upper and lower. Uh, get those replaced and get those checked uh, with good stuff. And then the other part is the sliding trolley, the upper part of the sliding trolley. On the trolley, or I forget, they call it the something retraction mechanism, whatever. Uh, that's a steel uh, item, and they want you to either mag particle or die penetrant. Again, it's on the slide tube. It's going to be a mother bear to try to get that out. But uh, you can do a dive penetrant on that, and you should be good for uh, 1,500 hours. So, again, if you've got a crack, we've got a crack on one of ours, so that means something's been racked. So now we're going to go put the stink eye on the trolley 
make sure it's good, and then double check our gear legs and all that. So biggest thing, something you don't do all the time, but again, service instruction 1183, and well, I'm gonna try to dump it. If it isn't already in the Beach 18 Facebook group, I'll put the PDF in there. Uh, we got that from uh, Beach, so. Anyway, 1183, it's a good thing. If it hasn't been done, do it, go fly, keep those birds flying.